Good morning. Welcome to this week's unboxing. Um, if you are a fan of Sashigo, I have lots of Sashigo supplies that have just arrived uh, yesterday, so I'll be unboxing those today. Uh, we've got lots of thread, samplers, uh, a couple of brand new samplers uh, that I've been waiting for for a little bit, so uh, we'll be doing that in just a second. Good morning. Hi. Um, as uh, we're waiting for some folks to join us, a couple of uh, quick updates. Um, Open Studio is this coming Saturday, September 16th. Uh, that's the one day a month where I open up the studio space to the public um, and you can come in and shop in person without an appointment. We're open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, and we're located here in Durham. Uh, so if you're in the area and want to stop by, um, Centerfest is happening this weekend here in Durham. It's supposed to be a beautiful uh, weekend in terms of weather. So if you're out and about, um, feel free to stop by. We'd love to see you. Good morning. Um, some other uh, quick shop updates. Uh, there are some uh, fun and exciting changes uh, coming to the site. Uh, I've been working uh, on it all summer long uh, with Aolydia. Um, they've done a wonderful, wonderful job. So the new site should hopefully be launching next week. Um, I'm really excited about it. I think it is so much uh, cleaner and just easier to use and navigate around and I'm really excited to be able to launch that so um, at some point next week uh, the shop will be down for about four hours while I get the new site up and running um, so if you happen to go to Snuggly Monkey and you see this page that says you know we're um, working on the site right now that's what's going on um, it's like I said I should be able to get it done within four hours or so so um, that should be happening next week. Um, and then the other um, thing that happened this week is that I was finally able to launch the uh, new and improved VIP tiers of our rewards program. Um, I have a pretty robust uh, rewards program uh, called Maker's Perks, uh, where you earn points for every dollar that you spend, but also for things like leaving reviews, following on social media, we give you bonuses for your birthday, um, referral bonuses, so if you send your referral code to a friend and they use it, they get $5 off and you get $5 worth of rewards points in your account. Um, so it's it's pretty handy. Lots of folks have been using it um, for years and years and years and we now have a new um, VIP tier system where it's based on the amount of money that you spend in the shop over the course of your lifetime. So you don't have to keep trying to re-earn um, your tier every year or anything like that. Uh, it is once you're in that tier, you're in it for life. Um, and it comes with different perks, uh, like the Maker's tier is kind of the introductory tier that everyone's into. Um, the second tier is the Enthusiasts. You get a welcome bonus, you get early access to sales, you get um, other benefits that I'm spacing on right now. Um, and then the um, Insiders group um, is kind of the top tier. And that one, um, again, same thing, you get a, a big welcome bonus. Um, you get first look um, emails, um, access to kind of exclusive online um, events uh, that I'm going to be doing starting this fall. So, um, so check that out. Uh, if you open up your rewards panel on the website, you'll be able to see all the tiers and all the perks and how you qualify and all that good stuff. So all of that is live now as well. All right, so let's get started and jump into opening up some of the um, boxes that have arrived. Like I said, there's a lot of Sashiko stuff in here today. Um, so we're gonna start with some of that. We've got some of the stuff from Little House of Japan. This is the Sashiko Palm Thimble. Um, you'll, there's two of these on the site. This is the Little House version and it's bronze and there's a clover version that's silver. They're pretty much the same exact thing. Um, the color is different. The bronze one I find is a little bit, um, the they both have an adjustable band so that they can fit just about any finger. I find the bronze one a tiny bit um, thicker so it's a little bit harder to clamp it um, close to your finger. And that's really like the only difference between the two is just which color you like. But um, this is the Little House version which is the bronze one. We've got a good restock of the Daruma Home thread. This is, um, Folks use this for Sashiko when they want super fine, thin lines. This is actually a hand sewing thread, um, so you can use it for any sort of hand sewing project. It's a very, very thin thread. 
uh, but it can also be used for sashiko as well. So um, we've got lots of colors of the home thread are in here. Um, we've got several of the large sashiko panels. This is the Japanese crests are in here. This is um, parasol. So these large panels, they're not necessarily for a more advanced stitcher. They just require more time. Um, I, I probably wouldn't suggest the large panels as kind of your first sashiko project. Uh, I think it might get a little bit frustrating. It might be a little easier to start on one of the smaller hanafukin, um, but th these aren't necessarily, they're not any more difficult. There's just much, much larger. Um, and so like this one is um, 24 inches by 44 inches long, just like the cherry blossom panel that is pretty popular. Um, the maple leaf, they're all kind of that same large panel. This is the, there's the cherry blossom is in here. We are running pretty low on a lot of these large samplers, so I'm really glad that these are here. Um, and we get them in different formats. Sometimes they come packaged for us already, and sometimes they come on kind of large bolt pieces that we then cut down and package ourselves. So um, a couple of the prints I was told are no longer being printed on the Dark Navy. Um, so one of them I had to switch over to the black instead of the Dark Navy. It's very similar in color. Um, not even sure if the camera, you can kind of see the, the hue difference. Um, I asked if they were gonna be printing it again in the Navy and they said no. Um, so for now, uh, a couple of them are gonna be on the black instead of the Dark Navy. All right, um, and we've got in here more little house supplies. Uh, these are the ever popular, probably one of the most popular items in the shop. These are the uh, rubber needle grippers. They come in three sizes, small, medium, and large. This is the small one. Um, if you're ever here in the store in person, this little hole here is a size, um, to, help, to help you size them so that you know whether you need, which size you need. I, on my hands, um, I tend to use the medium on this finger and the large on my thumb, and that's a really good combination for me. They are Japanese sizes, so the smalls are very, very small. So if you have very small, delicate hands, the smalls might work for you. Um, but just keep in mind that these are Japanese, they're made in Japan, so they're Japanese size, so the small is quite small. Um, Heidi Parks uh, uses these and talks about them all the time in her quilting classes. She's actually, I was talking about the referral program earlier, she is uh, probably one of the greatest users of that referral program. She keeps um, a link to her Snuggly Monkey referral code in her Instagram profile. Um, and she gets lots and lots and lots of points um, from folks that she refers over and is able to get herself lots of fun supplies. So this is more of the size small. Um, there's the medium and the larger in here. Let's see. These, I believe, are the Little House pins. Um, so a friend of mine, probably about 10 years ago, um, gave me my first set of Little House uh, glass head pins, and I absolutely fell in love, and they are pretty much the only glass head pins I use at this point. They are so sharp and thin, they slide through your fabric so easily, even after years. I've never used a new set. There's the original one that I've had for 10 years. They still are beautifully sharp. Um, they really they really are quite different from kind of your standard glass head pin because they are glass head. You can iron over them. Um, so if you're a quilter, you need them for piecing. These are really, really great. As we're starting to head into the holidays and you're looking for gifts for your crafty uh, friends, for your sewing circles, your quilt guilds, that kind of thing, um, these little house pins are a great gift that will be greatly appreciated. Um, I'm still very grateful to my friend Asha who gave me my very first set all those years ago and I love, love, love them. All right. Um, this is the tortoise shell thimble, um, also from Little House. You can see this is a big Little House in Daruma restock. Um, and so what this is, is a thimble that is worn on your index finger. Um, you can see that there is a kind of, it wraps around your finger and this is open. So this is great for people that have long nails and that struggle with using thimbles. This gives you the space to be able to have your nail on the outside, but then it's, um, 
it's a tortoise shell. So it covers the entirety of the tip of your finger. So you actually have the side of your finger, the bottom half and this side, and then this top half right here is fully encased in metal. So it really protects your finger very well, but gives you a little bit more ease of movement. It also gives you more ventilation in there. So if you struggle with the rubber thimbles, they make your fingers too hot, sweaty, uncomfortable. Um, this might be an option to try out because it's open so you get kind of more airflow and it's not as as warm as um, the rubber thimbles can get. Uh, so that's what is pretty much in this box is lots more of the large samplers and more of these kind of little house notions. So let's put this one off to the side. All right. The next big box is from Olympus. Um, and what's in here is a big, big restock of the Olympus threads. Um, so Olympus is the kind of medium weight, I call this the workhorse of the Sashiko thread. Um, kind of all of the brands, the nine brands that I stock, Olympus has the largest selection of colors. So this is kind of the Sashiko thread wall, one of the Sashiko thread walls behind me. Those top three up there are Yokota and everything else from the top down is Olympus. So Olympus has tons and tons and tons of colors. Um, they have the largest selection of variegated colors. Um, and then they also are the ones that released the Lame or the metallic sashiko threads last year. Um, and so some folks have been frustrated with this thread, but what you have to keep in mind is that just like any other metallic thread, so the way that this was made is that they've taken um, the regular sashiko thread plies and they've added one metallic ply in there to give it kind of a bit of a shimmer. So this is kind of like working with a metallic thread. You're going to have more success working with it if you work with shorter piece, shorter strands, so not the usual kind of uh, meter long pieces that you might typically work with. Um, and you might also benefit from running it through some thread conditioner because that metallic filament is still is in that thread. So it is going to snag a little bit more than kind of just straight cotton um, sashiko thread would. Um, and so some folks have found it a little bit frustrating to work with, but if you work with a shorter piece of, so what I typically do with mine um, is since I turn kind of all of my Olympus uh, skeins into braids, what I will do is I will take the, um, the strand out of the braid and then I'll cut that in half. And that's the length that I use of the lame in order to avoid getting it the way that it gets can, can kind of snagged and tangled. So that's a tip for working with the lame colors. So that's what is in this box is lots and lots and lots of thread. Um, like I've mentioned in the other lives this month, September is really when I start to fill the shop up getting ready for the holidays. Um, so we're bulking up our stock of the um, Olympus threads because those are definitely our best sellers. Um, it's a medium weight thread. It can be used for all kinds of sashigo. It's great for mending. It's really, really strong. Um, the That bag that's above my head over here, that's all done with Olympus. Um, it's probably the thread that I use the most just because they have some of the biggest selection of colors. All right, in here, we've got some of the Olympus leather sashigo thimbles. So if you prefer the leather feel versus the metal, that's what these are. Um, we've got some of the super cute little zipper pulls from um, Inazuma. And so these are leather-like. They're not made of actual leather, it's synthetic leather. Um, and these are little zipper pulls that you would put on kind of the zipper, um, the zippers of your handmade bags just to put a cute little accent. So there's the leaf, you've got an apple, there's some sheep. Um, and then this one is brand new, so it's not up on the site yet, but it's a little black cat, uh, which I thought was, was super duper cute. There you go. Uh, so those are the zipper pulls. And then the rest of this bag in here looks like it is the um, Inazuma uh, scissor sheaths. Uh, they come in seven different colors, I think. Red, black, blue, pink, green, purple. Um, and these work with just about every size standard um, embroidery scissor. Even the smaller blades, so if you have one of the one inch blades, the way that these are constructed, you can stick that in there and it'll stay on. Um, they don't fall off. So I use these with lots and lots of scissors. All right. And so here, the bottom of the box is a restock of the samplers, all of these that are behind me. So these are the 
kind of between samplers and all different uh, We've got some of the, uh, the dot grids in the red fabric. Um, we've got some of the mixed style samplers here. Lots and lots and lots of samplers. Um, so a sneak peek at something brand new that I know lots of folks and lots of folks that um, kind of sell Sashigo are excited about. If you have ever taken my Sashigo 103 class, the Kuguri Sashi class, um, I talk about this book all the time because it's one of my favorite Sashiko books. So this is Aya Fish's um, Sa Modern Sashiko book. Uh, it's in, this one is in Japanese, but this was printed in English. Uh, it was just released, I think last month or two months ago. So you can find this now in its English translation. Um, but this is where I got the pattern for this sampler. Um, this book has some of my favorite Kuguri Sashi patterns just because they're really different. It's a modern spin um, on Sashiko and it's, the, it's she's just got really great ideas, different things. So the exciting part is that Ayufish has collaborated with Olympus and has just released a brand new line of samplers from that book. Are now pre-printed samplers um, on the new, so there's the white versions of all of these and then the new sampler colors that Olympus released earlier in the year, the, um, which are kind of the, the more neutral colors. This is the, I think the taupe, um, there's an almond milk, a sage. Uh, so that's what the samplers will be released in white and then one of these kind of new colors. So this, this one is called Peaks um, and it's a mix of Hitomezashi and Kuguri Sashi. Then this one is called Prey. Uh, you can see that there. This one is called ooh, Flow. And then the fourth one is called Block. Um, so I heard about this a couple months ago um, and I'm super excited that they're finally here. I'm definitely gonna be stitching up at least one, if not all four of these. I love, love, love these patterns. They're so much fun to work with. Um, yay, thanks Robin, I'm, I, they are very nice. And I think Robin's coming in next week for a shopping appointment, so you'll be able to see these in person. Um, so yeah, so these are, like I said, brand new. They literally just coming out of the box, so they're not up on the website yet. Um, my hope is that I'll have some time this afternoon to get them up there, so you'll see them very, very soon. Uh, but uh, if you wanted to, on the website, you will just need to search for IU Fish, A Y U F I S H. Um, and then if you're looking for the English version, I can't remember what the title in English is right now, but again, if you search for IU Fish, it's also um, in my bookshop.org book recommendation list. I have it linked in there as well. So you can definitely, it's a great book. If you like um, Sashi books and you're looking for some kind of different Kuguri Sashi patterns, it's a really, really, really good book. So, so that is exciting. Um, this is exciting because these have been out of stock most of the summer. So I'm really excited to get a whole big box of the, um, these are the Sublime Stitching um, embroidery transfer pens in black. Uh, they've been out of stock for about a month or so um, in the shop because I wasn't able to get them, but they came back. So I've got a box full of just the color black um, in here. Uh, these are used in embroidery. Uh, it's a fast and easy way to get a pattern. Like if you download a PDF pattern, um, yes, in yesterday's newsletter, I uh, showcased one of uh, uh, Baco's um, Halloween PDF patterns uh, and uh, lots of folks uh, downloaded that last night so if you have been wondering how you get a PDF pattern onto fabric to be able to stitch it these pens are one of the easiest ways to do it uh, you would print out your pattern on your on your printer and then you take this pen and you trace the pattern with this pen um, you prep your fabric you heat it a little bit with your iron and then you put the piece of paper down with the ink side touching the fabric side and then you press and that transfers your pattern from the paper onto the fabric um, anytime you ink a pattern with these you can actually transfer it probably about two or three times before you have to re-ink it so it's really handy there is I do have a full tutorial on YouTube walking you through exactly the whole process of how to use these so if you wanted to take a look at that head over to the Snuggly Monkey YouTube page 
um, and you can watch that full tutorial. But uh, these come in nine different colors. Black is obviously the most popular and I'm um, very excited that these are now back in stock. So that's, that is fun. All right, here we have a box from Kylie and the Machine in Australia. These are woven labels. Um, lots of folks use these in garment making, in quilts, in bag making, uh, but you can also attach them to the backs of your hoops. If you're gifting hoops this fall and you want like a nice little touch to add to the back of it, um, you can cover the back of your hoop in felt or fabric and then attach one of these cute little um, labels onto it. This one says worth the effort. So Kylie, uh, if you are familiar with uh, this brand and these labels, you can notice that the packaging has changed quite a bit. They are in the process of refreshing all of their designs and all of their labels. Um, and so worth the effort is a label that they've had for a while, um, but they have changed it a little bit. The label's a little bit wider than it used to be. They changed the font. It used to be on white, it's now on cream. Um, so you will start seeing a difference in a couple of their standard labels um, that they're kind of, they're just refreshing and updating some of the designs. This one says you can't buy this um, and you get three in black and three in beige. This is an example of their older packaging, um, but this is their My Best Work Yet label. Um, so we've got several of, there's a couple of new designs in here as well that will be up on the site soon. Um, the Kylie uh, and the Machine is putting out uh, some really fun holiday merchandise that'll be here in October. Um, and I was able to get a good amount of those. So those will be um, added into the shop in October, which I'm really excited about. All right, so this final box here today uh, is kind of a mix of things. We do have some more Sasha Go thread. This is the Cosmo Hidamari thread. Um, the This line of thread comes in, I believe it's 35 or 45 different colors. There's 20 solids um, and then a couple of different variegated options. Um, they have this kind of variegated line where the base is white and it just has speckles of color. This has blues and yellow speckled in. Um, and so the this thread is also a medium weight. It's a little bit thinner than the Olympus, uh, but very, very similar. It comes on these little cones, so you don't have to braid it. You just pull off um, however much you want to stitch with and cut it and it's ready to go. So that a lot of people like it um, for that. It's very nice, just like all Cosmo thread. It's lovely to stitch with. It's very um, soft. Uh, it's just, it's a lovely, lovely thread. We also have uh, some of the Cosmo Nishikito. This is the um, Cosmo metallic thread, which I've talked about many, many times. Um, this is my favorite metallic thread. It's pretty much the only metallic thread that I use. Um, I have been experimenting with some of the new Overasoir metallics, which I like as well. Um, they just, they feel different. This is, um, the Nishikito is soft, so it doesn't feel like your traditional metallic thread, um, which tends to be kind of a little bit uh, crinkly <laughs> um, and difficult to work with. The Nishikito is not. It's very, very soft. Um, if you on Instagram saw the um, awesome otters that I'm working on uh, right now from Hawthorne Handmade, um, that kit came with it to be done in just white, but I took one of these Nishikitos, um, the opalescent white one, and I'm doing the fish uh, in that white so that it kind of mimics fish scales and kind of gives it that little bit of um, shimmer to it. So it's it's just fun to play with, right? Um, so I've been using this uh, lately and it, it really, it's the first time I ever stitched with metallic thread years and years ago. I hated it. It was a horrible experience. Um, it was so difficult and it frayed and it was hard to thread onto the needle and I like swore off metallic threads until I tried the Nishikito and it's a whole, whole different experience. All right, uh, more Sashigo samplers. Um, so if you're coming into the open studio this weekend, the wall of samplers is going to be fully, fully stocked. These are from QH Textiles. I've got a couple different designs. This is the Kazaguruma 5. Uh, here we've got Little Gathering. Uh, so Hanabi or Fireworks um, is here. Which one is this one? Kazaguruma 1. So loads and loads of samplers. Um, this is the Sew Line Stain Made. I added this to the shop kind of quietly a couple weeks ago, um, and this is the fourth time I've had to reorder this, so I ordered um, more this time because it keeps selling out. 
folks seem to really be enjoying this. And basically what it is, it's a stain remover, um, but it's in the size of a pen, so it's really targeted stain removal. So if you, um, the new Cosmo wraps you have don't show the color number, do you note the numbers? The new Cosmo wraps, do you mean the new, um, the sampler packs? Is that, I'm wondering if that's what you're, what you're referring to. The Cosmo released uh, some new sampler packs that um, I've put into the newsletter. I'll actually grab a couple to show you. All right. Yes, okay, so this is what you're talking about. All right, so these are um, brand new. I just got these in. Uh, so these are not distributed through so La Cien only distributes certain things in the U.S. They don't distribute everything that they have available in Japan here in the U.S. because they don't translate everything. So anything that they do not translate into English, they tend to not distribute in the U.S. So I go to them directly in Japan and I bring them in directly from Japan, which means that this is all in Japanese. It's not in English, um, but it gives you access to all of these cool things that um, you don't normally find in the U.S. Uh, so these brand new sampler packs, they created them um, for the 100 Lady samplers. Um, and what it does is it gives you three meters of seven different Cosmo colors in coordinated sets. That way um, it can kind of, it brings cohesion to your sampler. Um, you get to play with seven different colors and experiment with them. And since each doll um, is the only takes a pretty small amount of thread, um, this should actually uh, do you for doing most of the sampler. Um, so you've got four different color options. So I believe the colors, they're, they, they are not noted on the, um, on the card itself, but this is a little booklet where it actually is giving you ideas for outfits for the hundred ladies and the colors in each set are um, listed inside of the booklet and the numbers are written, um, in, not in Japanese, they're written in, um, the numbers that you're familiar with. Um, so you'll be able to tell what the colors are inside of the booklet. It gives you the numbers for the colors. So hopefully that helps to answer your question. Um, so these are all, okay, wonderful. <laughs> I'm glad that helped. Um, these are all up in the, in the shop. If you search for 100 ladies, you'll see um, all four of these will come up and you'll also see kind of the the samplers, the kits and the, the large embroidery sampler as well. So that's how you can find these in the shop. All right, uh, what else is in here? We've got some of the comfort grips. Um, these are, you put these onto the ends of your embroidery hoop, the little screw area. And what it does is if you have trouble tightening your, um, your hoop screw, this kind of gives you that grip to be able to tighten it just a little bit more. Um, and so that's what these are. <laughs> so those are comfort grips. Uh, what else is in here? Uh, we've got some of our left-handed embroidery scissors. These are actual left-handed scissors. So left-handed scissors are different, are constructed differently from right-handed scissors. Um, the right-handed scissors, the way that the uh, blades are um, attached together, for the left-handed, they're actually attached in the other direction to be able to uh, make them work <laughs> properly for left-handed folks. Um, so these are the um, Havel left-handed um, embroidery scissors. And so those are back here. Uh, we've got a pretty good restock of the um, Jennifer, it used to be Jennifer Jangles, it's now Jennifer um, Heinen, uh, the 30-day uh, embroidery class sampler. This has been super popular lately. Um, we've been selling a ton of these. <clears throat> and what this is is a printed, uh, pre-printed sampler. You get the hoop, the thread, the needles, um, and then she's got video tutorials that guide you through how to do uh, 30 different embroidery stitches. So I've got version one and version two um, in the shop. She does have a version three. Um, it's just not available to stockists at the moment, um, but I think you can buy it directly from her that she did come up with a volume three. So <coughs> that's what that is. What else? Um, the bottom of this box is full of Cosmo thread for the cabinets um, to restock all of those. There's Cosmo Seasons um, thread is down here because I know some of the Seasons sets are out of stock at the moment. The Cosmo Seasons is the variegated uh, collection of Cosmo threads. 
so all of that should be back um, in stock by within the next hour or so I'll get those all get all this logged in um, all right and I think that's pretty much oh um, I talked about these <clears throat> last week this is the um, tulip kakehari and I had mentioned that um, tulip had is rebranding them re-releasing them um, instead of the green they're now pink the packaging is all different but with this new re-release um, they have tripled the price of this tool. Um, my distributor was able to find two more packs of the older packaging and sold them to me at the original um, price. So I now have um, 10 more of these kakehari in the shop uh, if you wanted one um, but weren't able to get one. I do not have the, the desk clamp though. They did not have any more of those. But um, you can the desk clamp is just an anchor for this. You can use other things. You can make your own clamp, honestly. Um, but if you wanted this third-hand kakehari tool, there are 10 more um, before kind of the astronomical price uh, change goes into effect. All right. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, I've got another box uh, over here, but again, it's just more and more sashiko thread. Um, this is the Olympus Thin sashiko thread. We've got the 100 meter skeins over here. So much thread. So, so much thread. Um, if you come in for the open studio this weekend, it is going to be so colorful in here. Uh, it's all of our, pretty much all of our thread is now fully restocked. We got the Irovela from Mexico came in, so all of those are in. The Appleton's wool um, is all here. So lots and lots and lots of thread everywhere, which is so exciting. It's so much fun. Um, all right, so that's it. That is the uh, unboxing for this week. Um, if you have any questions about anything that I showed you, please don't hesitate to send me a message. I'm always happy to answer questions, and I will talk to you all again probably next week, hopefully <laughs> with the brand new website um, up and running. So i uh, got a couple more things to, to iron out there before we can get that live, but fingers crossed, next week. All right, everybody, I will talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye.